What's going on, everybody? Hopefully, you're having a good Tuesday. Let's give it a minute. Let it get connected. Make sure I'm muted. Check everybody in the chat. And let's get started. Let's start a minute early, says Adam. Adam was first. Well, Adam and Scott tied, it looks like. Catherine's here. How's it going? Shun, shun, sun, I can't say sunshine. Sunshine News. Thanks for coming again. Andy, how's it going? Jennifer, Andy, did you, did you get your gift card yet? I dropped it off yesterday. I'm curious how quick they are. Catherine, hopefully you're, hopefully you're feeling better. Adam, Joey, Scott, Donna, Pac-Man, what's up? Diesel, Diesel, you're the last one I need to get you. So let's coordinate that. I'll get with you on that. And a couple things. So today was a slow day. Well, let me rephrase that. I wasn't able to go to the thrift store at lunch just because, uh, let me get it uh, situated here. Oh, uh, just because I had meetings all day, so I couldn't uh, get out. So what I did was I went after work. Well, picked up two things to show what I picked up, and I'm going to kind of walk through what I sold. So I tell you guys <clears throat> what I buy all the time, but I kind of slack on telling you what sells and what it sells for to give you an idea of what I sold today. And uh, we'll go through that. Plus, I wanted to uh, talk to you kind of what I'm thinking about doing and what I've already started. Uh, and I'll keep you posted. I kind of will float it out a little bit. I won't tell you exactly, but I'll give you an idea. And then once it starts working, I don't know if it's going to work. If it fails miserably, I'll tell you. But uh, I'll give you an idea. All right, Sharp Seller, hey, what's up? Scott had four today. Oh, that's not too bad. Four on eBay. I had zero Amazon today, zero McCary. Um, I had six eBay, six eBay today. Catherine had one, nice. Darren, what's going on, buddy? How's it going? Jennifer had one. So, Scott, what else am I missing here? Yeah, awesome. Mail was quick, nice. Pac-Man had eight. Awesome. Scott had four on eBay. So today was a little better. I got my, I like to, um, I kind of gauge the day about how quick that first uh, sale comes in. I don't know about you guys, but uh, if I get it either at night or I get it during the day, like early morning, I'm okay for the rest of the day. So what's everyone else do? Darren, thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. So Darren's been listing more. Uh, he, he saw he had a bunch of sales. He had more today, which is awesome. I finally broke 700 listings. I'm at 702 now. I listed 20 last night. Rick had four. Donna had zero. Um, only one of my promoted listings sold. So that's a win, right? After a week, my FBA shipment at Baltimore finally got checked in. Nice. All right, let's see. Make sure. Am I coming in all right? No, it looks like I'm all right. Gotta love the early morning ones. That's right. What did someone call it? Uh, was it uh, Joey? Call it his eBay booty call when he wakes up. Congrats on the 700. Yeah. Yeah, I was up all night. I went to bed at like 2.30. I was uh, telling Darren I felt like my eyes were felt like sponges. All right. So I'm going to show you what I purchased today. And one of these is kind of what I'm thinking about doing. So I bought this. Actually, let's just start with this. So I bought this. Usually board games, when they're sealed, I'll probably buy them all day, depending on what they sell for. But never heard of this game. Roll it, tic-tac-toe. Uh, if I remember correctly, it had gr great rank on Amazon. Profit after sell uh, selling it would be 29-something. Let's just say 30 bucks. But it's a little higher. So they're starting to price board games a little higher. I mean, I say it's higher. The dollar or two higher than an open one. I paid three ninety nine. I paid for this. Uh, it does. So you can kind of see. It's a little pushed in based on the shrink wrap, but not too bad on both sides. It's almost like it's vacuumed pretty tight. I will list this uh, merchant fulfilled until I get enough to uh, to ship in. But hopefully this should move pretty fast. So I went. I bought this. And as I kind of left the line, I looked in the glass case, and I saw something else. And based on the price, 
I went back to my car, looked around FBA for a bit. Couldn't some of the comps looked great, some of them looked okay, some of them looked awesome. I did not know the exact model number, so I went back in and I said, "Screw it, I'm gonna buy it." eBay booty call. That's right, Joey. Andy listed ten jeans today. Nice and a few women's items. Pac-Man might try promoted listings, do well with sales, but never use promoted. Yeah, give it a shot. Uh, Candyland DVD DVD game hasn't sold in three weeks. It's sealed. Think about sending it in. Oh yeah, I'd send I'd send that in if you're ungated. I'm sure you're ungated, Scott. But my oh, I sold my Seinfeld game. Uh, at Amazon hasn't shipped yet, so I forget. I don't know. I forget the total profit, but my uh, seen it Seinfeld that was sealed. Uh, I got. I did get that at Goodwill. That sold on FBA. So this is why I went back and I picked up. I did not know the model number. It looked old. Is Sony Discman? And he, sorry, if the light. There you go. So you can kind of see it. It's got the screen. If you're gonna buy these, check the screen. I was looking at screens. Sometimes they're busted. I have not checked if it works. Now, old time. So there, the batteries are inside the unit. Sorry, the light's kind of. So I have not tested this. So I paid six dollars for it. I saw a couple souls around 30, 35 bucks. I'm gonna list it for thirty-four eighty-two. Uh, it might sit for a little bit, but I'll let it sit for and see if it sells. Otherwise, I'm gonna ship it into FBA. Just Darren sold the Patriots hat. Nice. Andy had help her lab. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Andy, that picture was awesome. So I got this. So we'll see if that sells. Again, six bucks. Uh, hopefully it works. I haven't tested it. But um, so that kind of led me to uh, looking at Amazon and I'm looking at FBA. You guys know I like electronics. Daniel Small, thanks for coming. Yeah, laying on your notebook. Um, I'm looking on eBay. So I'm looking. To, I bought two things, two of the exact same item. Uh, I bought one for 17, one for 19. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ship them into FBA. They are electronics items. They are lightweight. So if I did have to sell them uh, Merchant Fulfilled or back on eBay, uh, it wouldn't cost much to ship and it wouldn't be hassle to ship. BCRs are a hassle to ship. You got to find the right box to put it in, and that's a pain to fit. I actually had one that was awesome, but I need to buy sets. If I'm going to look at doing BCRs a bunch, I might buy some boxes. But um, so I'm testing out these two items. Uh, I bought it for 20. They sell for 150 on FBA. There was one sold in the last month. It looks like based on the chart. Uh, so I'll give it a shot. Hey, if it's, you know, what, 35 bucks, 38 bucks, give it a shot. If anything, I'll make my money back on Amazon or break even. We'll give it a shot. So, uh, guys, I'll keep you posted on if it works, but just trying to f switch it up, right? Because not everyone will always sell on FBA, but everyone, most everyone will sell on eBay. So I'm, I'm going to try and flip these on FBA. We'll see. If it does work, then I will expand on the uh, types of items and certain things to look for. Does anyone else uh, buy on eBay to sell on FBA? If obviously if the price is right and what you can look for. I have alerts set up, so I don't know if anyone else has ever set up alerts on eBay. I get emails every day about items that get posted. Hey, Mike, what's up? Uh, so I get alerts, and it, it lets me know what gets listed and if I can uh, good price and resell it. Charlotte had no sales today. Oh man! Well, you still have you still have time. You still have a couple hours left, so you, you might be able to uh, you might be able to uh, get something. Adam says, "I think you need to go to dumpster diving for boxes." You're up in the middle of the night anyway. That's true. Uh, I have not used my quarterly discount yet for eBay. Looks like Catherine got some boxes. Big brother buys on eBay to sell on buy on eBay to sell on eBay. Sometimes nice. So we'll also give it a shot. If I can flip it for big enough profit, I'll probably look at doing it more. But Justin hasn't had luck with best of luck with FBA. Charlotte has a lot of yard sale sale stuff going on. Nice. All right. So two of 
three of these items that I sold, um, I happened to just pick up. This this one I got at Salvation Army, I think, this past weekend. I bought for $1.50. This was the Sealed Ingenious game. This is the Travel Edition. I sold this for $20. Bucks. Uh, I, always may, I always make sure to double-check for price tags. Has anyone ever shipped it out a uh, goodwill item with the price tag somewhere on it and they the seller yelled at them or the buyer yelled at them? I'm always afraid I'm going to do that. But Ingenious sold for 20 bucks. Charlotte can't find the code for this quarter. Uh, I think I have it linked, Charlotte. If I'll put it out there. Sometimes it's a pain. Ken, what's up? Thanks for coming. Scott, I have an item that I've listed on eBay auction. It has 155, 59 views and 65 watchers. Wow. Diesel, I'm, I'm with you. I'm looking at doing a yard sales whale, but it's too cold here. It's, what is it? Um, 39 degrees. Did you black out the UPC codes? No, I did not. I did not black out UPC. Why should I black out UPC, Catherine? Um, sold this. This was scratched. I have scratched and won't play. Uh, clearly in the title, no returns, in the condition, in the description. It's all over. You can kind of tell it's scratched. Well, I'm assuming if someone can clean it. I sold it for 10 bucks. Eh, I'll take it. Get it out of here. Uh, it's one degree there, one degree Celsius. Wow. Uh, I sold two items from liquidation lots. One has probably been over a year. I sold for $45. Another was a cheapo set of uh, wireless headphones. Sold those for 16 best offer. It was a weird Who's Shaley? Who's Saley headphones? Some off brain. Uh, just wondered if anyone, oh, if wondered if anyone does that blackout CPC codes. Uh, I don't. I don't know if anyone else does. Uh, I, I'm not sure why you'd black out UPC. Start now and getting organized for yard sales. I'm pulling my hair out trying to do it all one day. Yeah, so what I'm trying to do, uh, Charlotte, is get my stuff that I'm, I have in the basement. I'm getting it all together. I have boxes set up in the garage. And as I get stuff up in there, I put them in boxes. So to your point, yard selling will be a lot easier. Scott, sold a Final Fantasy 4. A 4? Yeah, no. Yeah, that's 4, right? Online edition, paid three ninety nine, dollars 99 sold for 44 Nice flip, Scott. Uh, this. I got this at the bins. And I cannot believe I sold it. I just looked at the cassette, and I thought it was the wrong one. But it is the right one. Cassette with... Don't give up on cassettes. I paid next to nothing for it. Super Tramp. It's uh, Breakfast in America. Sold it for seven fifty. Free money. Uh, Shipping is going to be two sixty six. I am going to bubble wrap it so it doesn't crack. I might actually throw some cardboard on it. Uh, tape some cardboard front, top, and bottom just so it doesn't crack. But uh, yeah, I'll probably make end up netting probably five bucks. So. Why not? All right. This minus the forty-four dollars uh, strainer, some weird medical product that's been sealed. I forget what it is, but I sold that for forty-four. This was the biggest item. It's kind of heavy. Uh, question: What apps do you folks use for yard sales? Yard sale, treasure map, etc. I don't use any. I use Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. But yeah, Adam, great question. I'd love to hear what other people use for yard sales. My town only allows two sales at per address a year. Oh, so another guy, I haven't seen him in the chat in a while, but Victor, he's in California. Same thing, they get they only get a limited number of yard sales per year, which is crazy. So this was the big item. It's real heavy. Uh, I showed you guys this. It looks unused. But this sold, I just listed it last night. Uh, her, Hermine YMG drives around. 
So there you go. So this is cash flow. Make sure everything's in here. It's by Rich Dad. Rich Dad, Poor Man, or Poor Dad, the author, right? This guy. Is it Kawasaki? Robert Kiyosaki. There it is right there. So keep an eye out for this game. I sold this game free shipping, $55.49. So $55.49 is going out. Uh, I'm going to try to Frankenbox it. It is kind of heavy. Uh, it's going to Vegas. Scott, it's coming to your town. So uh, hopefully shipping's not too bad. I'm guessing it's probably going to be anywhere between 12 bucks. but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, $55. So that sold instantaneously. This is a sale that goes on for miles almost across the state of Arkansas. So a lot of people in the last four days. Wow. I knew that was going to sell fast. Very popular game. Nice pickup. Thanks. Pac-Man always looks for that game. Yeah, I was surprised. It was sitting there. And again, the only issue was the, there was a big pad of paper in there that you use to play it. And it's a little crinkled on the side, which I did take pictures of it. Uh, Adam, I paid. Great question. I forget what I paid. I think I paid $3.99 for it. Let me check real fast. Check my spreadsheet. I paid. Here. So let me show you this. Real quick, I'll show you my spreadsheet. You guys are interested. So this is my thrifting spreadsheet, as well as all my other tabs. Um, there you go. So there's, I put it in when I buy. I showed you guys this before. Uh, I put in my buy price here, purchase price. This is the lot price based on my uh, lot number. So that game, where is it? Cash flow right here. So I went... There, 143. I went there at 47. Uh, 143, the receipt number is up over here somewhere. Uh, and I've sold two things from this lot. I'm already profited $26. So, what's interesting, I'll show you how it works. So, I sold this today, 410. Some background formulas that play out. I put an X here. This is what I listed it for. This is what it sold for in case I do a best offer. No shipping fees. I put the name. The name of the buyer goes here. Uh, the eBay fee. I probably could make this a formula, but I know I think with international sales, it's a different amount. Let's just do four dollars. Let's do. Let's say I paid uh, thirteen dollars to ship at thirteen twenty nine. I'm just making numbers up. So after fees and everything, I'm gonna profit. And this is taking out my buy price of three ninety nine. I'm going to profit $32. So this one trip right here to this Goodwill, I profited $63 out the door. This is after my buy price, after taxes, $63. Bucks. So, and then you can see I have everything. So there's all, I record everything. Where the blanks are most likely where I haven't listed all the bins on it yet. Got my bins trip here. So I log everything. And it makes it much easier for tax time. So anyone have questions on that? I'm more willing to uh, help you guys out. Yeah, so I paid $3.99 for it. Harry Potter seen it. Game so well, yep. Yeah, I'll gross around 35 bucks. So went to a Goodwill. Yeah, Joey went to a Goodwill. Uh, 10 minutes from out over Delaware line. Very clean, organized, very expensive. The store is in a well-to-do area. Yeah, Joey, I saw that. That's crazy that they priced those items so so high. So, yeah, I'm going to ship those tonight. I'm probably going to list my disc man, and I'm going to merchant fulfill right now that board game I just showed you. Um, that's it for today, guys. Uh, so I bought those two things. Hopefully they come quickly. I'm going to list those, try and flip them pretty fast, see if it sells. We'll see. Uh, get another FBA shipment ready. Uh, and then, Chris, that spreadsheet is awesome. I need to quit using a pencil and paper. Yeah, pencil paper is bad because what's nice for me for that spreadsheet, uh, I can also use it at work or I could pull up on my phone if I really needed to type something in it. Yeah, it looks like uh, in Connecticut, my mom hasn't found any good Goodwills yet. Saturday, I picked up a sealed Trivial Pursuit. So I did find a sealed... Trivial Pursuit Saturday Night Live version. 
uh, the new version, the profit was two dollars, so I left it. But it depends on the Trivial Pursuit one. Uh, I was thinking the Saturday Night Live version would sell for a bunch, but it didn't. Yeah, Google Sheets, Adam. I use Google Docs as well if I want to take notes. Uh, I love it. Having my phone, computer, having it on my work computer as well. And that's one of my US Open shirts I showed you last night. Hopefully it sells pretty fast. Oh, original version, nice. Yeah, I picked up a Trivial Pursuit, the vintage version. That's at FBA right now, so we'll see. All right, let me check real fast. Anything sell? Anyone get any chichings since you're joining tonight? I did not get any. Uh, did I get one? Nope. Still at six. So quick shipping night. I'll probably call it early just because uh, I stayed up until 2.30 last night, but well, uh, best things in the basement attic. That's true. Ordered three cases from Bull yesterday. Going to get my listing numbers up. Nice. Tiger struggled at the Masters that he did. I did just now. Nice. All right, everybody. No chings. Oh, Scott got one. Nice. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. Uh, hopefully that helped. If we pick up some things, those things to look for, they sell well. Don't give up on board games. Look for board games. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have some more stuff to sell. Mom found vin vintage 1959 kids book. Nice. Well, what's the, the title of it? That'd be interesting. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining. We will talk to you tomorrow.